All right, how you doing, guys? This is Arthur from H and H Vapor, and um, what I've decided to do is instead of posting uh, pictures of um, Fogger builds and explaining everything how how to build it in words, helpful but not quite there. Okay, so Fogger is a tricky build, and since I do sell. A lot of these and I have them pretty much in every size and color as you can tell I have the Fogger big in both colors black and silver I have Fogger 4.1 in copper a Fogger 4.0 in brass and Fogger 4.0 in black and of course in silver which you will see shortly well, right here this one is a color okay my Foggers come pre-built with 0.8.9 ohms double coil already wicked it's ready to vape right out the box pretty much but you do maybe if you don't want to rebuild it you want to practice I do want to show you how to do that the people that do buy them that I ship you know maybe you want to rebuild it so let's get through this let me get a little vape by the way DNA 30s available now 79.99 in stock Sony battery included, everything to go, and one second. All right, sorry about that. Okay, of course, I'm vaping a DNA 30. One mile, I love this freaking thing. Okay, as you know, regular DNA 30 clone, but with the authentic Russian with <laughs> Nautilus Aspire drip tip which fits perfect okay all right so we're gonna skip okay oh, sorry we're gonna um just wanted to tell you the couple tools that you will need for the fogger build okay this you can make it just out of regular coat hanger I use this to twist the coil okay uh, this is a handle you know it's comfortable you know when you grab it you twist it blah 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 I do about eight ten wraps this piece of thing right here you need uh, when we install the coils to keep it in place you know because you're gonna you will have to install you know what I mean both of them you can install one at a time which you can but you can tie, tie down the post so this will hold them in place while you tighten them down Okay, while well, we need this to twist the coil is so this can fit in there because it's made from the same hanger. Okay, aside. I'm not going to twist the coil on camera, obviously, because, come on, twisting the coil. We can all do that. Ten wraps, okay? We're going to do that. Uh, one thing, you do want to torch the wire before you twist the coil. You'll just take the springiness out and you will twist better. You'll stay nice and tight. Blah, blah. Okay, this regular Harbor Freight $7 torch. You could use a windproof lighter if you wanted to. With a 26, 28 gauge wire, you'll be just fine. Okay, but Harbor Freight carries them in stock. They are perfect. You know, self lighters, you know what I mean? Good thing, you know what I mean? Works pretty good. Okay? All right. So, here, what I have here, I have 10 rep cool. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to see it. Okay. It's about a 10 rep coil, nothing fancy. I will show to show you close up close. You know what I mean? You got an idea, you know what I mean? It's a regular micro coil, 28 gauge wire, 10 reps. Okay? So I'm gonna use this thing, the main thing that we twisted the coil. I'm gonna put this thing on it. Okay. What we're gonna let me loosen up the post. We wanna bring up the post. Hi Isabel. This is Isabel, by the way. There you go. Good. She's comfortable. Hey. Chill. That's my keyboard. We need that. Okay. So we got that loosened up. So we're going to use this. We're going to do it one at a time at first, right? So you want to line it up. Let me get this closer. Okay. So you want to line it up about right on top of the air hole. So give it about an inch or so away from the post to so give it some wiggle room when you do tie it so we just hold it on top of the air hole and just give it one good twist all around so it'll stay in place okay that's one so we're gonna hold this in place and 
move this post out of the way and here you go sorry about that guys okay all right so this one we got in there just move the post out of the way you just want to have it get it in place now we're not tightening it yet okay so we're going to do the second coil you notice how we didn't tie down none of the leads or anything we just put it in place so it's staying there we do the same thing to the other coil we just line it up near the air hole and we just give it one good twist around the leads I mean around the post one and this might look a little ugly now but you know this all will get fixed once we get there so we got it out around this post and you know the post is all the way up so it's nice and easy we just put one on top of the air hole go all the I, I give it a full wrap around there so you will stay in place okay so now now is we take this little chimichanga right here okay that we made out of the thing and what we do is we just we put it through these two coils okay obviously it's supposed to go in because it's made it was twisted on the hanger I mean do be careful so you don't really mess it up okay so I got it in there as you can see see I got it sitting in the coils okay let me see if you can see this better I apologize for the pre caveman video stuff here okay so we got it in there focus babe okay 1080 my dick all right so we got it around there we got the thing is in there now we take our screwdriver and we want to tie down the post while we hold it this and it will hold the coils in place so when we start pulling it you know from twisting the thing it will just pull the same way and it'll just you will not pull it anywhere else beside you will stay in this place okay so we got that one down we do it a second one I didn't like put all of it into it yet on the second one I want to tie up this second first okay one so we got this we got that Dun -dun -dun -dun. okay then we got to tie down let's keep it in there let's twist the sleeves off one they come out this 28 gauge wire breaks down pretty easy one two Three, four, three. Okay, one second. He got stuck under the lead, one of the under the main post. So we just grab the needle nose and we pull that sucker out of there. Okay, and then we twist it off. Okay, so now you will have the coil that goes nice and around in the in a nice uh, clockwise action thing going on on both coils. We want to tighten them down. You don't want to do a lot of tightening down now because you're gonna mess it up like I just did. But we're gonna fix it. You know what I mean? Just take the regular all original thing and stick it in the rigid in the just line it up. You want to put it just on top of the air hole, okay? Right on top. You don't want to have it right on the air hole. Obviously, you don't want to block that off. But you want to have it good, you know, two millimeters away from the air hole. So it gives it nice airflow and it will not give you any problems. So, like so. All right, you do want to make sure the coils, the leads are not touching the metal. You know how positive is a positive, negative is a negative. You do not want to cross it, you will shorten it out. So when you do line up, just check, make sure it's not touching anything, which is not mine, one of mine is. So we're just going to move it away from the deck a little bit. Okay. So, we have it on there. Let's turn it on and see if we have a reading. 
we have a reading of 0.93 so hold it this is just I didn't tighten them down so 0.93 at least we know it's not a short so let's take it off now what I do I take it off the thing and I, you want to put it on the mod okay uh, I do burn my pre-burn my wire but what you want to do when you go on the mod with the battery once you got the installed okay you want to see if it fires let's okay we gotta go you want to burn this a little bit so you can, you can see it glowing you do want to burn it so it gets all the crap over the coil and while it's hot once you let go of the button take your little needle nose and while it's still hot just push and hold them together a little bit and it will keep its form you know when it's when it's hot it will stay nice and good so let's try it again see if it fires and of course that it does why well, you want to see batteries a little bit weak in that uh, weak Sony and I apologize but it does glow beautifully which is we had it at 0.93 that's before I tighten the coils so let's see if that made a difference when it comes down to the homage what are you doing I apologize if she's disturbing you. I'm sorry she's having a fight of her life with my socks at this time. So don't mind her. Right, Izzy? <laughs> sorry, guys. All right, so... Yeah, well, it stayed at 9.3. Okay, so it's 0.9, which is, like I said in the beginning, it's going to be around 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Sometimes most of my focus have 9 reps, some have 8 reps. Those tend to come out 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Okay, this is a 10 rep. Why I like this? So people, I mean, I did do make these for people that have regular variables that take 1 and on up, 1.1 on up, but that's really hard. So, I will not recommend these for people with Vamos and, and s a sort of stuff, Proveri, stuff like that, unless you make it over and ohm. And uh, these are, it's pretty hard because, it, as you can tell, it's a double coil. It's pretty hard to make it not sub ohm, okay? But 0.9, it's perfect. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to work it. Now, let me put this on this one because it's a little bit lower. You can see better. Okay, so we're just going to simple wick it. Okay, all right, come down to it, guys. Introducing called Peaches and Cream. You find it in a uh, sewing arts and crafts section of your Walmart. 100% organic cotton thread, which is freaking perfect, okay, for my coils. Okay, these coils on the hanger, you all you got to do is double it up. And you goes right in there. This thing works better than cotton. For those people that have problem choking their cotton, the coils with the cotton, not right, not ripping the right amount and stuff like that. For those people, this is for you. Which is, I am one of you guys. I'm one of those people. So I am in love with this thing. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you the part where I paid six dollars for piece of this on eBay and once it showed up I realized what it was it was exact same thing but okay that was lesson learned right so what I do when I want to double it up I just take a piece of regular canker can canker cancel okay and just hold it you know just make it as little as possible I tighten this up a little like wet this so it stays you know what I mean it gets skinny it won't be that big loop in there and you just put it through the coil okay so face first you want to put it right through the coil. And like I said, the ones that are the, the twisted on the hanger, they just go nice and easy. See? You just put it like yay so. So we have one, like I said, regular thread. So we got this. I got a shitty ass camera. I'm using my phone as a camera and I apologize for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it in the same spot here. It has, it's pretty good now, okay? I do apologize about that. I will invest in a better camera. I, this is my second video ever, so I'm new in this business. Not new to vaping, I'm new in retail business, okay? So I've been building way before. Well, I started selling, I mean, but 
is just, you know, I can't really watch people go to brick and mortar all the time. I mean, brick and mortar is all good for something, like for the juices, stuff like that. But when it comes down to buying hardware, people that do own brick and mortars, I apologize in advance. But, god damn, man. Foggers, I sell them pre-built at $34.99, worked and ready to go. The neighborhood b and we got here has them on sale for $69.99, okay? And he will not give you a break. So, $34.99. Oh, once again, of course, facebook.com backslash h and Facebook.com backslash HH Vapor comes to you. U as a letter U. You can find my page. Just scroll down. Look at the photo gallery. You can see everything I have in stock. Everything is in stock that I have on there. It could be pre-built, wicked, drippers, uh, tanks, anything you like. Any kind of modifications are done. If you like, um... All mods come with a Sony free Sony battery and a charger. So the ones that just starting out, don't worry. I have every RBA and a lot of RDAs in stock. That's like I said, just go through my page. You will see everything I have. And don't hesitate to call if you have any questions. So just just you know PM me on uh, Facebook. Once again, you can see that Facebook.com backslash HH paper comes to you with you as in you. Okay? So we have the thing stuck. I had doubled up on the wick through both coils. We have as you can see. I hope you can see everything. You got the idea, right? Alright, so now we take the bottom part of the chimney, okay? And we want to get I mean Make, you can make it a little bit shorter so you could get, you know what I mean, don't want to have five different lengths and stuff. you just be painting the butt. So, we're just going to do this. Stick the other part in, yay. Grab it on this side. I forgot my tweezers, so I'm going to use this. just want to use tweezers just to, you know what I mean, get, catch, the stuff, catch all the ends. Since there's a double end on each one. We have a lot of ends, so just no biggie, you know. So we just got them pulled up. And we screw down the bottom part of the chimney. Okay, we got her going, we got that. Alright, so now let's split them up so you can see the coil. You can re understand what's what, what's coming out of what. So, which is like this. Okay, and you wanna what I do is I cut them right at the at the uh, uh, edge. Okay, oops, shitty shit shit. One, two. Okay, obviously I should have brought big ass tweezers, big ass scissors for a delicate job, but you wanna have it right. On the edge and just get a nice cut so you, you don't want a lot of extra coming out. Like I said, with cotton, it works exactly the same, guys. Please don't get this confused because I'm using this. It's just an easier way out. This is cotton, okay? So same thing. It's cotton. Any wick that you use, I used to use uh, silk wick. And I do give some of it to my customers still because convenient and stuff. So some of you still do use wick. Uh, silk wick, which is fine. Same thing, guys. Same thing. Okay, so now you want to take a little tiny screwdriver and tuck in every end of it. You want to just tuck it in the back of the screw. You know, kind of like split it up. You know what I'm saying? Around the coil. I mean, uh, like, yeah, towards the you know towards the screw, each screw. Okay, on both ends, and you want to tuck it in. You don't want to just bunch it up. Because you will choke off the juice canals, okay? Why I use these little screwdrivers, see how this one is like, it's like like a pinpoint thingy, you know what I mean? It's really skinny, but yeah, and it fits in between the chimney and the screw. And it gives me a chance to tuck it in there nice. And if I use a thick-ass screwdriver, obviously I will have more problems. It will not be as well. So we just use it and we tuck in behind the screw, guys. So bring it in towards the screw and tuck it in behind it. Okay, that's one. Now, one side is done. 
is tucked in. Now we do the same thing. We turn around and do the same thing with the other side. You tuck it in on top of the same screw and just tuck it in right on top of that one. With cotton, it's a little bit easier. I'm using the, the thread so it, it, it furs up, you know what I mean, with like five different ends okay so we got one end and like i said just tuck it in right on top of that other stuff right on top of the screw okay we got that done all right once you got it tucked in you got it tucked in okay oh let me see let me i'm trying to get it done so that focus won't fuck up uh, this is this uh, can you see you see how it's nice and nice and neat in there? I'm trying to find a good one so you can see. It's nice and neat. It's just, you know what I mean, all along the, the, the chimney, you know what I mean? You just tuck it in all along. Just you want to split it out. You do want the ends, you do want the ends there because that's what absorbs the juice, okay? You don't want to bunch them up. And you know what I mean? And cut off its own supply. Now, once you got it all lit up, just run the screwdriver where the juice canals are and make sure they are open. Make sure the wick that you just put is not choking the thing off because you do want it open. You have plenty of cotton in here with two coils and two wicks. So do not worry about flooding. Unless you're one of those people that do not use enough cotton, Kenji. And, uh, of course, it will flood because there's no cotton to, you know, uh, there's no cotton to absorb. So, you know, just let it go. Okay. Uh, so, now, we take a little juice. Okay. Here, uh, I'm representing a little bit of juices here. This is little uh, people's vape juice, which don't really worry. It tastes like straight ass. It just looks like a nice bottle. And it's Russian shit on it. Since I'm Russian, I wanted to represent. So, I ordered it. Except it tasted like ass. So, forget it. On the other hand, silk. If you like mother's milk, you will love this. Strawberries and cream. This is my dripper juice. It's in four uh, milligrams of nicotine. And that's 90% VG, okay? Uh, my regular juice, this is Moo Juice from Mount Baker. Which is a replica of mother's milk, you could say. Strawberries and cream. This is 80 VG 20 PG, okay? Was another thing, but speaking of 80 VG, foggers, because of the four juice canals, you are more than welcome to use 100% VG juices, okay? This will not choke it off like a K Fund does. You will not get dry hits because of the heaviness of the juice, of the thickness of the juice. Foggers are good for 100% VG, guys, so no worries, trust me. Okay, so now we just want to get the wick. <clears throat> you want to get the cotton wet in there. So just so you can fire it a little bit. Okay, we, let's get it off the... And then put it back on the mop with the battery. Because when we prime it, obviously we want to light it also so the battery gets hot. And then we want to put the juice on it because that will we'll absorb it quicker, obviously. But before we initial fire, you want to put some juice... Of course, right on the coal, get it wet because you do not want to fire a dry cotton, right? Because we don't want to taste like shit for the rest of that vape. So, we got it a little bit wet, okay, with, which I got it to the point where it burn. And we want to light it a little bit, see if it vapes, if it does anything. Okay, we got stuff go. I got it wet. So, now we're going to give it a couple drops right on the coil after it's wet. After it's hot, and that way we'll okay. So we got it prime. We want to put the main, the top of the chimney back on, like so. We got that. All right, you can see that. All right, make sure that our uh, O rings is on the bottom, and the another O ring is inside the top cap. It should be one in there. Make sure it's in there because the glass is what 
holds the O-rings is what hold this glass down. There's there is no thread on the glass. The bottom and the top part is what holds it together. The top part screws in onto the chimney, and from the pressure it holds it in. But you need the O-rings so the juice won't come out, and it will hold the glass nice and tight. So we want to screw so we screw it in back in. You don't want to press it because you'll crack the glass, but you want to get it nice and tight okay so this is what we got what it looks like assembled okay pardon the chi you drip tip on it this is my personal fogger so okay so that's what it looks like this fogger is already pre-built for you with the same exact build at point eight and uh they're ready for sale like i said uh silver foggers are 34.99 pre-wicked pre-built pre everything ready to vape out the box so we take this, take it off. Fogger's is bottom fill device. So no spillage, no stickiness. I love these freaking things. That's why K Fun uh, Light is my preferred uh, K Fun, just because of the bottom fill. You will not let the injector ports tend to have problems all the time. So. So we want to stick that in there. Once again, my blue juice is going in there. This is a little, this is thick as juice. It's 80% VG, so it takes a second. Give it a one second. I'm not going to fill it all the way. I just want to show you the vape of the fogger once we have it assembled. All right, so got a little bit of juice in there. We put the port screw back in. Make sure the O-ring stays on this ring, just prevents it from more leakage. All right, uh, my battery is a little weak in my Panzer, so I'm gonna take my Russian off, and I'm gonna use my DNA. Just I gotta show you these four followers. This is my favorite device, my atomizer ever. Besides, you know, you know what I mean. Like out of the clones and stuff. This is, they are beautiful because this is sub old K fun pretty much. So we want to fire it around four watts. I like four watts. So I'm going to put it, let me fire it back. Let me see here. Let me go to 19 watts and see how many volts we got. 4.2. Let me go down. Okay, I got it about 19 watts. That's 4.1 volts. All right. We got it. And let's see what we have here. Let me prime it first, don't, so hold on. All right, so let me see it. I think you got it. it's nice and primed. So let's hit it and see what we got here as far as the fogger. All right, the that's one. And this is just the beginning of the wick, so you know they performed a little bit less in the beginning. And Fogger 4.0 built, pre wicked, and ready to roll. And before we conclude, what else we got here? Let's see what we can give it a shout out to. Fogger Big. This is for your 26650 devices. Fogger Big 30 millimeter atomizer guys i do have a lot of 26 650 mods in stock okay so if you like the big atomizers don't worry i will find you a mod to go with this i got copper i got stainless steel i have over 15 different mods all my 26 650 mods are 49.99 including a free mnke 26 650 battery and a charger but you have to bitch ask for the battery okay tell me you heard it on youtube you heard it on facebook whatever it is but you gotta let me know and you get a free mnke battery in that but like i said let me get back up a little bit real quick before i show you how it works i'm not going to break it down but i'm going to show you how it vapes better wording uh k fun big clones okay a lot of them out there none of them work okay and most of them get rusty inside. The, the Tabika one is 
Tashido one is bullshit. They all leak. They fucking flood. Bullshit. Introducing Fogger Big. 100% authentic. Not clones. I get her straight from Yilung in China. I get her uh, same as the rest of my Foggers. I get it straight from the factory, guys. Factory that makes them authentic Foggers, okay? They are less expensive because they are authentic, but they are made by a Chinese company that makes clones. Well, that's how they started, at least. Now they all big and fancy with the Foggers. But, authentic nonetheless. Fogger big, you worry about, I got, uh, it's not working like the K fund, in case you were wondering, I got this one built on a, with a double coil, it's the same built as the regular uh, Fogger, I got this one at, uh, can't remember, <laughs> but I think it, 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 it's a little bit lower ohms than the regular one, just to make sure before we do that, like I said, I have every Fogger in stock, I do stand by my Foggers, so, that's why I have to show you this one. On the Fogger Big, the airflow control is not like on the regular ones. It's good. It's like, you know what I mean? It, it, it screws on. It got the reverse thread on it. So, it goes up and down. So, uh, no. We have, I have it at 8.4. 8.4. Yep. So, no. Not 8.4. I'm sorry. 0 0.84. <laughs> 0 0.8 ohms. I got it at. Okay. <laughs> 0.84. But, okay. So, we have it at 0.8. We're going to put it back. On my 26650 Panzer Mod, which is a regular Panzer, just huge. Freaking love it. It weighs about a pound, but okay, it's great, okay? Like I said, here's the regular Panzer. That's a big Panzer. See it? Huh? Regular Panzer. Huh? See? Regular? Fucking big, okay. <laughs> let's get back there. Okay, so let's put it on. Yeah, let's see. Fog or big. Facebook.com backslash HH Vapor comes to you. Guys, thank you for watching. I have Hannah's in stock. I have foggers of all sizes, of all colors in stock. Give me a message me, holla at me, do whatever you want. I have everything in stock. Get back to you. All hours of day, all hours of night. As some of you know, because I have delivered a fogger to you at 2.30 in the morning before. You know who I'm talking about, okay? So, before we go, with the fogger that we built, once again, I'm gonna show you how it performs. Thank you, and they on peoples.